Kia ora koutou. Before we get into our series today, just to let you know, we are a genuine Māori channel where we genuinely want to keep our Māori history and culture alive as Indigenous. For those of you that do like our series, don't forget to click the like button, especially for today's episode. And for those of you that want to get to know more about our Māori people and our culture, don't forget click the subscribe button. Now for these seasons or this particular episode as well as more different episodes we will be going through many different Māori leaders throughout our history and today we will be starting with Sir Abirana Nata. Sir Abirana Nata, his full name Abirana Turupa Ngata, born 3rd of July 1874. He was born in Te Araroa, also known as Kawakawa, on the east coast of the North Island in New Zealand. Nearest town was Gisborne. He is of Ngāti Parau, Iwi, Ngāti Parau tribe, and his parents, Paratina Ngāta, who was also a well-known rangatira and expert in traditional native law. And his mother was Katarina Naki, the daughter of Abel Nock, who was a Scot. You may recognise him for those that have been to New Zealand. Our New Zealand currency, you will see his face on the $50 note, which is a very good indication that he made a very big impact in both the Māori and the Pākehā community on so many levels. He was raised in a Māori environment, speaking te reo Māori, Māori language, but his father also ensured that he learned about the Pākehā world, believing that this would benefit not only him, but also Ngāti Parau Iwi. From there, he attended Waiō Matatini Native School before moving on to Te Aote College until 1890. Te Aote College also is still running today. He then went to Canterbury University, which is down the South Island, where he studied for a Bachelor of Arts degree and was awarded that degree in 1893. From there, he furthered his education to Auckland, where he took a honours in political science in 1894. Now, before he finished his second degree in law in 1895, he married his first wife, Arihia Kane Tamati, who was also of Ngāti Parau Iwi, and they had 15 children. Arihia Ngāta was also known as Rairi Ngāta and was a local community leader born in Whareponga and she actually married Apirana Ngāta at the age of 16. During the First War, she organised fundraising efforts and hosted many army recruits and after the war she continued to host young men who came to learn sheep farming skills from her iwi. She supported temperance movement and the Anglican Church and throughout her life supported Apirana's political efforts including through taking a leadership role as rangatira within Ngāti Parau. She died young after contracting a disease in 1929. Sao Pirana Nata practiced law before entering politics in 1897, where he established a young Māori party alongside alumni of Te Aote College, including future fellow Cabinet Minister Maui Pōmari. Sio Pirana Nata quickly distinguished himself in Parliament as a very skilled orator. 1905, he was elected the Liberal Member of Parliament for Eastern Māori, retaining that seat for nearly 40 years. He also served in government as the Minister of Native Affairs from 1928 to 1934. In this, he tried to accomplish as many reforms, including the land or whenua reforms, and wanted to accomplish many as possible for the Māori community. He also published a number of literature, including something significant, Māori culture with Ngā Mōtiatia, 
a collection of Māori songs, being one of his better-known works. He was also heavily involved in protection and advancement of Māori culture among Māori, giving particular attention to haka and poi. He also campaigned for the recognition of Māori language as a subject for study in the University of New Zealand, with the study of Māori becoming eligible for a degree of Bachelor of Arts in 1928. He also fought for higher living standards for Māori people and was very active during the economic depression in New Zealand in the 30s, developing large farms which provided jobs and helped restore the dignity of many Māori in the community. He also married his second wife, Te Tuho, in 1932, and he also remained in Parliament until 1943. In this picture also, in 1948, he received his doctorate in literature and at the same time, his son, his youngest son, Henare Ngata, graduated with his Bachelor of Arts degree, later becoming a practicing accountant. He had been a member of Parliament for almost 38 consecutive years. If you like this episode, don't forget to click the like button and don't forget to click subscribe button to listen and see more of our episodes. Thank you for watching.